Hi there, this is uh, John Amos from Jam. I hope everybody watching this and uh, all you jammy dodgers are staying safe during lockdown. Today we're going to be looking at the story of David and Goliath. So please don't forget to uh, like the video, hit the subscribe button and any comments, put them below. David and Goliath is found in the Bible in 1 Samuel 17 to 51. And the version that I'm using today is an abridged version from the version of the Bible known as the message. I'm going to have some help acting out bits of the story with Ellie and Ben from Jan. The Philistines drew up their troops for battle. Saul and the Israelites came together, camped to Oak Valley, and spread out their troops in battle readiness for the Philistines. The Philistines were on one hill, the Israelites were on the opposing hill with a valley in the middle. A giant, nearly 10 foot tall, stepped out from the Philistine line into the open. Goliath from Gath. He had a bronze helmet on his head, and was dressed in armour. He wore bronze shin guards and carried a bronze sword. His spear was like a fence rail. The spear tip alone weighed over 15 pounds. His shield bearer walked on ahead of him. Goliath stood there and called out to the Israelite troops. Why bother using your whole army? Am I not Philistine enough for you? And you're all committed to Saul, aren't you? So pick your best fighter and pit him against me. If he gets the upper hand and kills me, all the, Philist all the Philistines will all become your slaves. But if I get the upper hand and kill him, you will all become our slaves and serve us. I challenge the troops of Israel this day. Give me a man, let us fight it out together. Okay. So when Saul and his troops heard the Philistine challenge, they were terrified and lost all hope. Enter David. He was the son of Jesse the Ephratite from Bethlehem in Judah. Jesse was the father of eight sons. He himself was too old to join Saul's army, but Jesse's three oldest sons had followed Saul to war. It was Eliab, the firstborn, then there was Abinadab, and thirdly, Shammah. David was the youngest son. While his three oldest brothers went to war with Saul, David went back and forth from attending to Saul to tending to his father's sheep in Bethlehem. Each morning and evening for 40 days, Goliath took his stand and made his speech. One day, Jesse told David, his son, take this sack of wheat and these 10 loaves of bread and run them down to your brothers in the camp and take these 10 wedges of cheese to the captain of their division. Check in on your brothers to see whether they are getting along OK and let me know what they're, what they're doing and how they're doing. Saul and your brothers and the Israelites in their war with the Philistines in the Oak Valley. David was up at the crack of dawn and having arranged for someone to tend his flock, took the food and was on his way, just as Jesse had directed him. He arrived at the camp just as the army was moving into battle formation, shouting the war cry. Israel and the Philistines moved into position facing each other, battle ready. David left the food in the care of a sentry, ran to the troops who were deployed and greeted his brothers. While they were talking together, the Philistine champion Goliath stepped out from the front lines of the Philistines and gave the usual challenge. David heard him. The Israelites to a man fell back the moment they saw the giant, totally scared. The man who kills the giant will have it made, the troops said. This man who kills the giant will have it made and the king will give him a huge reward, offer his daughter as a bride and give his entire family a free ride. David, who was talking to these men that were stood around him, asked, Now, what's in it for the man who kills the Philistine? Who does he think he is? This Philistine taunting the armies of God. They told him what everyone was saying about what the king would do for the man who killed the Philistine. Eliab, his older brother, heard David fraternising with the men and lost his temper. What are you doing here? Why aren't you tending that flock of sheep? I know what you're up to. You've come down here to see the sights, hoping for ringside seat at the battle. Ignoring his brother, he turned to someone else, asking the same question and got the same answer as before. The things David was saying were picked up and reported to Saul. Saul sent for him. David said, Master, don't give up hope. I'm ready to go and fight this Philistine. 
Saul answered David, you can't go and fight this Philistine. You're too young and inexperienced, and he's been fighting since before you were born. David replied, I've been a shepherd tending sheep for my father. Whenever a lion or bear came and took the lamb from the flock, I'd go after it and knock it down and rescue the lamb. If it turned on me, I'll grab it by the throat, wring its neck and kill it. Lion or bear, it made no difference. I killed it. And I'll do the same to this Philistine pig who is taunting the troops of God alive. God who delivered me from the teeth of the lion and the claws of the bear will deliver me from the Philistine. Saul said, go and God help you. David took his shepherd's staff, selected five smooth stones from the brook and put them in the pocket of his shepherd's pack. And with his sling in his hand, he approached Goliath. As the Philistine paced back and forth, his shield bearer in front of him, he noticed David. He took one look down on him and sneered, a mere youngster. The Philistine ridiculed David. And my dog that you come after me with a stick? Come on, I'll make a road kill of you for the buzzards. I'll turn you into a ta tasty morsel for the mi field mice. You come at me with sword and spear and battle axe. I come at you in the names of God, the God of Israel's troops, whom you curse and mock. This day God is handing you over to me. I'm about to kill you and serve up your body to the crows. The whole earth will know that there's an extraordinary God in Israel and everyone gathered here will learn that God doesn't save by me means of sword or spear. The battle belongs to God. He's handing you to us on a platter. That roused the Philistine and he started toward David. David took off from the front line, running towards Goliath. David reached into his pocket for a stone. No. He put the stone in the sling and he slung it at Goliath. The stone hit Goliath in the head and he crashed down with his face into the dirt. So that's how David beat the Philistine with a sling and a stone. He hit him and he killed him. No sword needed for David. So David then ran up to the Philistine and stood over him, pulled the giant's sword from its sheath and finished the job. When the Philistines saw that their great champion, the giant Goliath, was dead, they scattered and ran for their lives. So that's the Bible story, the well-known Bible story of David and Goliath. Don't forget to give this video a like and hit the subscribe button.